Okay, so let's see what I can make here. This video I was trying to edit and put together all day yesterday, and it would keep stopping. So this morning, I thought to do a screen record, which is what I'm doing now. So if I push this, it would give you the option to do full HD or HD and the SD. I tried all of them yesterday. I even tried to just share it straight to YouTube without producing it to save it to the phone. Yes, I have enough storage. Yesterday, I also spent a bunch of time erasing a bunch of things, taking out what I don't need for a while. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, I go back. So this morning, because I it took me a long time putting all these videos together, all these videos, photos, getting photos from one device, putting them into another device to do this this simple way. Uh, sharing this video also to show how I can do uh, the videos in different ways. So as you see, I use PowerDirector. I've been using them for a while. I'm sure I've made videos that are over 43 minutes with PowerDirector. So, but by me being able to do this, I can get a screen record and it'll pretty much show the same thing. And then when I just did this, which just took me almost over a half hour because I did watch the videos and, um, or a little close to a half hour maybe. So I watched the video or I went through, watched the videos. And as I'm doing that, I also realized by me doing this screen record, I can explain some things a little better also. So, I rushed getting all these photos together, I'm sending them to this device, I'm putting them in all the, I'm putting them in certain files so I can get straight to them because I already know what I'm going to do in my, uh, in my editing and my producing app. So some of the times are not right, so from the videos and the photos, some of the times may not be in order. So, okay, we'll start, and this is the first photo that I added and I'll try and go through this as quick as possible most of the photos I just want to go through and then I was doing this for a minute and I come across a part I know I didn't touch anything wrong I'm doing this and a photo uh, or excuse me it, I think it took one of my videos down, and we will hear a recording of two of my videos at the same time. I'm sharing this because after doing all of this, and I get frustrated with that because I don't even really know how to work this app all the way. All I know how to do is put the videos together or run them that way, and I'm good with that. So I don't really know how to cut out, put in, add in, do all this, or anything else. And I need to work on that. That stuff takes time. It took me time to figure all this out. And when I first got down here and I'm learning how to do things and stuff like that. But I do stop at this photo here because that's Mr. Polly P. Mr. Polly P, very important person here. Um, I ended up getting stuck in Tallahassee. And this guy, excuse me, this gentleman would always pop up in certain places or when I'm moving around. He actually hit the lottery and I could not find those photos. I know I still have the slip. He hit the lottery one time. It was like $2,000. And he uh, had lost his wallet or something. And he had took me down there. And this place happened to be up in the area that I got stuck in. And the, it's the lottery building over on either Marriott Ave or Marriott Road, whatever they call it. So it's the main headquarters, uh, the lottery here. And we go there. I cash it in with my ID. That's why I got the slip still. He ends up giving me $200. I tell him, you don't have to give me any money like that or anything. Uh, but as you'll see, we'll go through, I look out for him a lot, he looks out for me, uh, or, or he just happened, the thing with him is how he just happened to always pop up in my path, um, and it's not like with that situation and many other situations that we'll see. <clears throat> okay, so we keep going here, and a lot of other gentlemen are the same way that you'll see me with, that's why I be with these guys, it's like they grew to me. So like I say, some of the times, they'll probably be more recent now. So I'll try and hurry up. I didn't even mean to run all those. 
together like that. There's been multiple storages that I've used here. There's been times when my vehicle has been full. That's Mr. Kush there. We was around, it was around Thanksgiving 2022. And just so happened, um, I got stuck here in Tallahassee. Well, just lingering around here in Tallahassee because my property is a little ways out. So I was lingering here in Tallahassee starting around Thanksgiving 2021. And I knew these gentlemen. Throughout all this year working on my vehicles. These are the two vehicles that I have now that I just, you know, call them work vehicles. I was using them. And oh yeah, that picture that I had stopped on with Mr. Polly P, a bunch of these gentlemen I would take to some of my jobs when I can. I'm a general contractor. So sometimes I would land work and I would take them. <coughs> Excuse me. We have uh, Mr. Ray Ray in here, which I really worked with a lot and helped get him off the streets. Uh, when I had came around, I guess he had just got stabbed. Like, um, I think they say somewhere around 14 times, 16 times, maybe something like that. So he was real weak. And I would work with him. That's him right there. Mr. Ray, so we'll see him throughout here, and his peoples actually started catching on and seeing how I was working with him, and they started helping work with him through me. I have I have messages, I have information where they would sometimes send, you know, money for him, for him to rent a room for himself, or I could go get him some clothes sometimes, but a lot of times, you know, I did this on my own. Or I would bring him to some of the rooms that we were at. I would do whatever I could for him. There was another gentleman dealing with Mr. Ray. This is Mr. Ray again, which I took him to a different area. Down here where some other people were, where they could watch him. This was at the bistro. They tore the bistro down recently. So, but anyway, um, there's another gentleman, Mr. Thomas. We'll share his information here soon because he owns a tattoo parlor. He's a good guy. He was helping Mr. Ray also. He would come up and meet with Mr. Ray to take him. Because he's, he knows Mr. Ray's family also. Been knowing him for years. <coughs> so, <coughs> excuse me. The other video stopped. I'm not sure if these are limited on a screen record. But it is going again. And we was talking about Mr. Ray. Uh, Mr. Thomas on the tattoo shop over on Gaines Street. By Gaines and Family Way. We'll share his information soon. Uh, there was times where he offered to fix everything on my vehicle. But at that time, there was some times I could not accept what people were offering. Because I, I was feeling like that they felt like I was doing what I'm doing for that. And that wasn't the case with me. I get out here, I move around. I've always been the way I am, working with people, trying to help people. Uh, so that's what I was doing. And my thing is, you know, I say I work for, I tell people I, I work for, you know, a higher power. So, or, you know, the universe, or just really trying to keep everybody uh, comfortable. So, uh, again, that's with Mr. Ray here. I helped with him a lot. We'll see him throughout this. Placing the studs again. So make sure you have your good jack. Make sure the vehicle is propped up right. And if you can, keep you a set of tools like this that'll kind of cover everything. So yeah, every once in a while you have to figure out. I can't remember exactly. Which ones fit it? So, you know, that's good for that. So, I'm gonna take those off. Um, all the bolts that's holding this on. So this is Mr. Richard here, walking up. Mr. Richard, there. Don't want to get him on camera just yet. But up there at the uh, community op places where the um, thing with uh, Mr. Patrick had happened. So that's where he had passed away. I think that was like a, about a month ago or something. 
Uh, right there at the, that's where the, <clears throat> and this is on the corner of Appalachian Parkway and Magnolia. Uh, hey, Mr. Richard. This is just showing that I use, uh, today um, is the 30th, April, is it? Um, so this is I was using Stuart here. doing this, me yep. and Mr. Hunter working together. We'll see Mr. Hunter in here. One of the this first people stuck. I did contracts with, and he landed me some other contracts, uh, painting houses, stuck. interior and I exterior, and, and putting up cabinets with another I contractor. I, I mean, excuse me, another um, homeowner. So I, got so, to, uh, I still work with Mr. Hunter to, to the day. That's me, Mr. Stephen Hunter out of Tallahassee. Wanted to well, get that real quick also. Nashville now. Uh, for, so this is still for, like, uh, where I, I just fill up the st um, and I, uh, I keep forgetting to get a video with Mr. Doug here, but I did give Mr. Doug those shoes there. And you can kind of not really see the end the uh ends on them now but he said that they really they help him with the uh with, you know kind of like support him as he walk but yes i keep forgetting to get it uh but anyway yes yes doug yesterday when i asked you what was you craving what did you say blt, BLT? <laughs> yes sir and i was craving the uh eggs and chorizo this morning oh. so i had to go get yes oh, yeah, you were. yes 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 so what i did is i went and bought the stuff um, this is your eggs and chorizo, and your two bacon, lettuce, and tomatoes in there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sorry, right. I just wanted to get that out the way real quick. You know, I got to rush over here and get this, uh, wait for the keys to this vehicle. Oh, also, here's a blunt, a whole blunt for your last drop day. Yep. Let's see. Just came back from getting a starter for the vehicle here. The date 15. Another work vehicle here. Thanks to Mr. Hunter and the uh, family here. Yes, you guys. Thank you. This is pick and pull again. Here getting the master cylinder and the other stuff for the brakes. So it's. 1217 next day and I'm talking about getting the booster out from way back there Mr. Robert good mechanic he uh, ran the brake lines put a new booster in for me put and he actually did that in. three times because he got the booster out to he good took mechanic. the booster out of a Fast. different vehicle yeah, also man. To get the brake lines out. This is so he disconnected the booster the first time to take it, and then he disconnected my booster on this vehicle to replace it, and then he disconnected another one to get to the brake lines and stuff. And that was all from yesterday when I got off of work, and this morning he was ready at eight a.m. This is just a different storage unit of mine that I had used. Um, I think here is. Let's see if we can. I, see I still there. got stuff tucked off in there. Bunch of stuff out of my place. Let's see. Let's see if we didn't miss anything. Up in there. Got some groceries from my storage. I still got stuff tucked off in there. Okay. Okay. It's the 4th of November. Let's see. Mr. Cush. Uh, he needs some shoes. So I'm going to see if he likes these. Okay, so that's not the 
So Mr. Kush happened to be just like Mr. Polly P. Turned turned out just like Mr. Polly P. I'm gonna get easy, Mr. Kush. Um, you guys know this is spy. If you know, he be around here. Yeah. Oh, no, hey. but he don't want to talk shit. Oh, Come on. Oh, yeah. Whatever. Hey. That's Mr. Kush telling me. Y'all stop. Hey, 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 hey. Y'all stop. Hey, 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 hey. 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 I don't think I get wet. Y'all don't need to be fighting. <laughs> Mr. Pipe yeah, and Mr. Josh almost. <laughs> so I did get my all brakes ran. I gotta get the windshield fixed. <laughs> okay, let's see where we was at. Because <clears throat> it stopped on me again before one minute. No. So. Y'all don't need to be fighting. <laughs> so I did get my. All brakes ran. I gotta get the windshield fixed now. So. It's a travel vehicle. Still got a good engine and everything. So. so today is the 18th. And I am. Here to do these window panes at 10. Oh, uh, shoot, 10 oh, 05. Oh, shoot, I forget the name of the street already. So here's one, this window pane, and uh, another one on the other side. So, yes. So, just so I had the 19th, so after it's um, almost done, now I'm going to close. So I wanted to get this video to show how, um, if we are moving around, making sure to take enough wood, this how I did, taking enough foods. And these here, some man, Sweet this English. is still just me out in here for you, and I left a year ago. So, so see, room. this is where it messed up. Oh my goodness, see, look at that. I'm only moving it a certain way and it goes all the way back to here. So you see how things will really frustrate you. And then it just took me. Oh my goodness, man. Look at this. So this is short. I see that I did accidentally just push the on these new phones. If you come from the side, it'll go back. So I can probably push on it. Um, It'll go to it. Let's see if it'll still go. So right here is important where, okay, so right here, it's explaining, now you can see in the small videos there, these two uh, coolers were full of food when I left home about a year ago, that's where that video is, I'm at home, and it's showing, down there it's showing the videos, you can see Where I'm at home, but it for some reason when I'm it just took the video out and dropped it down there, and now it's doing that. Like, why would I want? Like, why? Why? You know, it just don't make sense to me, and I don't know how to erase it or put that video back. I mean, like, why would it take the video from here, drop it down, and play? You know, so it's frustrating. And then I'm trying to do so much that I'm trying to do. So I have to try and figure this out real quick. But I'm going to let it play through. And like I say, it's explaining. It's two different videos. One showing, okay, with me, Mr. Kush from, uh, this was also around Thanksgiving time, 2022. And uh, before I went back home to Georgia, I was here. I spent some time with the people that I could or whatever. But the thing with the other video, it takes down is showing how I held on to things for so long. And it explains when you get out there and you're doing your business, some of these foods that you leave with on travel, you won't really need them. They'll turn into emergency foods. And some of this stuff I've had, I still have. So let's see what it turned into. It's just playing over each other. Let's... Here. Oh, man. Sweet, sweet. Just mail from here for when I left for you. So not only just that, now it just stopped again on from the screen record 
and I know I got enough storage. I just went and looked. So things just, I, I man, man, man. This is the gathering here. I don't mean uh, I'm trying not to. So in both of these, so, so when I left to travel, this is so what in the world? You, know, you already got your plate. A lot of times you won't need it. You get out there, you do it, you take care of your business. You'll be, you know, eating other things. This will, this will turn into kind of like emergency food. That's what you got it for. You got it. All right. The 22nd. Back in Tallahassee. At the Lowe's. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, guys. There's no Lowe's in Cairo. But here, come in and get the rest of the stuff. Drywall thing, you guys. Thank you, guys. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Trevor. That's a. Uh, uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, I actually need to put the video together of Mr. Trevor and Mr. Polly. Sorry about that. I already got one. Yeah, it's on the phone. It's on there. I got one, Mr. Doug. It's on there. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Um. Oh my goodness, the one. Excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm trying to be quick on this video so the video's not so long. And then you guys have to excuse me, I just got this video, I'm cleaning it, it's a work vehicle. But yes, yes. Today is the 24th, oh yeah, happy Thanksgiving day everybody. Thanksgiving 2022. Oh yeah, I'm cleaning this van down, I just got this van. So I'm wiping everything down and everything ready. Still trying to do my travel thing, so, alright. Known Mr. Richard about a year here along with uh, a bunch of other people and we meet this gentleman yesterday 80 years old still out here doing his thing hmm? uh, Mr. Uh, Stanley yes sir yes sir Mr. Stanley uh, and we got other uh, videos and photos of Mr. Richard him putting in work going to some of the jobs Christmas 2022, Christmas spirit, yes, yes, I appreciate the wave right now, I have some things stressing me out, but... So we got the van propped up here, it is 11.55 a.m. still, fourth. we had an incident here, I don't know if you can see where... Right there where almost the strut is, it came off. They say a nut came out, so there's three of us here. We're on the side of the road here. Mm -hmm. I don't know we're nowhere, but we're making it happen. You know, I didn't have everything. We haven't had to call anybody yet, but almost done here. All right. Yes, we did end up. I got it fixed the first time. But uh, we had to go to the store and get a new bolt for the other side. This is the driver's side, so we had to take that off so we know because they couldn't tell us. And then somebody went up there, and we got it now. So almost done. Dang it. So just put that one back on the driver's side. Put another one there. Got the see. This through. came with a washer. Yeah, put this one on. Retirement, so you have an award letter stating how much you get or whatever like that. So with that, if you find a so I'll so this right here, I wanted to explain this part too. I'll share his information also. This is uh Mr. Gabriel, uh, from down at this place here in Tallahassee. So if I would meet people that seem like they need serious help, I would call Mr. Gabriel or I would get and I would give them Mr. Gabriel's number. Mr. Gabriel will come right out and he would meet anybody or excuse me, he would meet the people that I would call him for, and at this time he would bring them food. And he would give whatever he can at that time. And there was this one lady. She said she was stuck here in the city uh, from her husband or something like that. And she had two little girls with her. And I called Mr. Gabriel. 
at that time. And he said that they don't even really do that, but he did help her get back to where she had to go. I will share his information. Um, actually, that's Mr. Gabriel Trollinger down at the Kearney Center. I'm looking at his card here. And the phone number is 850-782-2551. I apologize. That stopped on me again. And it did get the number there. And the Kearney Center itself number, 850-792-9000. And again, that's Mr. Gabriel Trollinger at the outreach or excuse me says he's an outreach specialist that's what from their card um so and this was him when i called him for mr stanley when a first time permit is important housing again that's going to be the best option but if for whatever reason that won't work sorry about that mr richard a couple different options that back door, I know it looked a mess back there. <laughs> we got to clean that up. <laughs> Today is with the 15th of uh, December, 2022. Still in Florida. Trying to get to California now, I think. But somebody is telling me something different. I'm headed to my place over here on Circle Drive. This is the park over here. I'm going to start working out in this park here. It got the, I got my basketball together a couple days ago. That's the tennis court over there. I need to go get my tennis stuff. I got my baseball gear, got my other sports gear. So yes, yes. Coming on and chasing you down the street. And then what the fuck? Would I stay in a hit of faith? Hell no, I ain't gonna get on that. I thought it was all that deal that got doubled up. Shit, let me know. You can record that. I fought in Hollyfield. And I dated a black girl that lived down in that um, <laughs> yes, second sir. level of Hollywood. I remember you telling me. That was straight. Me and Mr. Pipey and Mr. Mitchell and Mr. Kushner and Mr. Josh have been rocking yeah, for people. almost a year now since I've been stuck here. Mr. Stanley, uh, hey, new. No, you did wrong with one. Thanks, yeah. Mr. Kush right there just gave everybody money today. He gave, gave Mr. Richard $20. Uh, came in. Uh, smoke with Mr. Stanley. He said, uh, Mr. Pipey said he paid him what he owed him. And he uh, rolled up more than a couple times. So Mr. Kush always looking out, man. So today is the 30th. Uh, Mr. Stanley was a strong soldier these past two weeks. He was with me. Uh, so I'm just showing. He's in good spirit. Still with me. Um, we're going to try and make the best choices for him today. I did try and get in touch with Mr. Gabriel yesterday because I know his time is coming up. We do want him to do the best, you know, make the best choices for him. Just like I was telling him. Uh, so we'll just, yeah, just step by step. I just wanted to show he is still doing good after today. Um, yes. Uh, here today with Mr. Hunter. Mr. Hunter. I just click on my watch here. So, uh, 622. One of my brother friends, Mr. Doug, again. 
They gave him a blanket thing here and a little Carhartt coat for now. With the hood on it. <laughs> he, he declined going to the house twice again uh, for now because he wants to he probably it's Friday so I don't know if he wants to be out here and then he say he does want to go there now but Mr. Mr. Doug I'm already hey, I'm gonna I go ask on. you I want to well, go well, you, well, the first, yeah yeah sleep. well the first two times you say you don't right now and then we already been through this where you done been over there you know many times and I don't know uh, but here look don't forget this neither you almost left that it's a lot. You want me to put it in this bag back here? Let me stop this. So, <laughs> it's always grumpy. So seven twelve in the morning, and I gotta go and check on them. I brought them to the house last night. It was uh, it's one of these days where it's cold like how it was before Christmas. I brought them last night. They was acting a fool outside the house. I just sat there and waited to see how long they was going to do it. They did it for way too long. I had to take them back. But these are my two people that are up in this area, so I have to go up here. I'm going to go up there, get them coffee, warm the vehicle up, put them in the vehicle for a minute. So I just went up here. I got them this coffee, them, and then I'm about to take Mr. Doug to these pants, this jacket, these new shoes here. And he sucks for now. So he can be comfortable while he get up. I right, hear you. What'd you say? Good morning. Good morning. Man. I've been laying here for a couple hours. Yeah, a couple hours. It's so cold. Listen, listen. When you get up, because you got those thermals from yesterday. Yes, sir. There go some brand new shoes right there. Okay. Some sir. brand new socks. Put them on your feet. There goes some brand new pants. If you have to, just put them on over your pants. And here go that other thing. You can put that on too for now to at least warm up so you can get up moving around. And then when you get up, well, you can put that on for now and then go somewhere. But I'm, oh yeah, hold on. I'm gonna give you some of this coffee. I just went up there and got it. It's hot. And here goes coffee too. It's hot from uh from the gate. Uh, Let me go back here and get this stuff to Mr. Richard that I got to give him real quick. And the vehicle will be warm. Y'all get in there in a minute. And this is what I'm going to take to Mr. Richard for now. These socks, these jeans, and this, uh... And I don't know why my, uh, can't my camera show like that, but this uh, sweatshirt here. Uh, these jeans, these socks for now till we, uh, get them over to the house or whatever. So I gotta go this way to get to Mr. Richard. Yep. Through here. <laughs> oh yeah, man, they need to fix this water. You probably can't see how good it, uh, come out right there, but it come out a lot. Mm -hmm. Right there, but it come out a lot. Oh, so... I mean, I don't know if snakes ever did, like, but they ain't never said they never been no experiences with any snakes. <sighs> Mr. Richard, yeah. you gotta get up. You probably gotta get up. So here's some hot coffee. Came from the gate. I'll get up Here. Brand new socks. These jeans, put these jeans on, whatever you got when you get, you know, whatever you got on for now. And then this sweatshirt, you can put that on right over everything, or right up under your coat if you want to. All right. Um, vehicle is warming up. I just need to get to all that. I got Mr. Doug, same thing. Just took him his shoes and stuff. And, um, so. Finally make it somewhere. Man, I think I he. I am trying to get him to come last night. And I was like, we're up to the fence. I can't move. And he started wheeling that way. We probably couldn't get up that hill, man. <laughs> y'all gotta be, y'all gotta, y'all gotta. I up the hill last night, and he turned around and went back that way. Y'all gotta work together a little better, but y'all ended up getting, y'all buzz levels ended up getting real high. 
Yes, yes. But, um, yes, yes. Coffee's hot. Vehicle be warming up. You guys put some extra clothing on until we figure out the next steps. Yeah, I'll be there. Parking, parking lot. Yes. Okay, I'll be up there. Yes, yeah, sir. So I have to get this video up. I went out. I had to go out and see Mr. Kush for a different reason. He always be giving me stuff. So this is bags full of stuff, man. Different stuff. Um... Chris is always giving to me. So sometimes when you are out and you um, you take to certain people, and of course sometimes you don't you don't want to be rude, just like anywhere else and in any any other situation. Um, and and Mr. Chris, he's always like, yeah, here, take this, take this. It's not like a hey, do you want this or hey, do you need this? He's always, he's always giving me stuff a certain way, and I really I really appreciate it. And Mr. Chris happened to be one of the people that. Um, I don't know, that just grew to me from me being here in Tallahassee. Uh, so I just had to get this video right now with that. Because I did get, you know, I get videos when I'm giving them stuff, so. But anyway, yes, I got other videos in this, Chris. Yes. So today is the 20th. I came to wash the clothes. It's the big machines. These are the biggest ones they got in here. So, we'll do that today. So, this happened to be where, where I parked at this morning. Um, and this van happened to be there. I don't know if you can. I'm trying to get a good look at what it says. It says, Hallelujah. place in Tallahassee uh, they say it will help help you you know but if you you can make a donation to them um, but I just wanted to show the date that I am down here so I'm gonna leave my bicycle here to see that I can do and uh, I'll come back and pick it up that place is called the bicycle house I gave Mr. Mark from Ken Griffey Jr. and Miss Georgia back there some, some Jordans. I thought I had that video around, but I have to find it. I took Mr. Mark on some jobs with me. That's Mr. Wyatt, <clears throat> excuse me, he used to play for FSU. I ended up meeting him, I got some videos of him. And there's a story behind that, like when I was met, when I met with him, and then I we ended up seeing him some months later, and he said he was inside this place, and he said that he didn't have mental issues anymore. So of course, in my mind, I'm like, okay, but at that time, he was really having good conversations. I'm thinking it's just because he got out of this place he's talking about, but I'm thinking, you know, but... Maybe a month later, the other gentleman sees him, Mr. Kush and everyone from downtown where I met him with. They was like, he don't have mental issues anymore. And I thought that was, I, I mean, after the videos, and you'll see what I mean. And it was just a coincidence to me. Mr. Wyatt that played for FSU, but that's uh, that's Mr. Richard. So I have my hazards on, but I want to record just to see if it gets the noise. So I have having a bunch of problems with the vehicle noise making. It's like a real bad wild noise. I forgot to get a um, photo or video 
but here the back tire as you see is in now but it was out so last night <clears throat> excuse me it was dark and i was going to end up leaving because I, I don't i don't sit here and so uh but danny boy came up I, um so he ended up seeing it how it was how it was out and when i looked at it from the lug nut so i'm gonna pause this um we got the time going there and before it stops a message came down <clears throat> excuse me and i created a website yesterday and it i put in there that we teach buy sell and trade and we promote that and i think that that's a good thing for these gentlemen in the streets uh, when they're doing stuff like some of these guys have stuff or they come across stuff which is um a lot of stuff is given to them for free or they know where to go and get things and if they can network or because a lot of them are getting free phones now so and i had just got a message and it made me think of this so it would be right here where someone just sent me it says right there at now let's push on it so the time now which is 7 37 a.m hi is this available any issues does it come with charger and battery i am gonna put sorry it's not available which is what it says at the bottom there um that's just to be quick with this so that was sent that's for a tool uh it's not available that tool sold uh last week today is monday uh send it not available so we go back oh shoot here uh wait 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 so let's go here go here go here and uh well i wanted to show that i could have shown more items that w that i posted <clears throat> excuse me we can get into that another time i just figured i'd put that in here because i did put that in the website yesterday and that made me think of that so to this video there was only one on there was one on and the whole tire was out and there was no other lug nuts so i did put the other these I, I jacked it up and um put the other lug nuts on there but if i would have moved it was dark i'm, I'm making this video because that was a blessing because it was it was dark i would not have known i think if i would have backed up that that tire would have fell off again um so my vehicle, yeah, still, it's kind of rough right now, but still doing good. I gotta get new, I'm about to get everything done. Yeah. Damn, it'd be better if it'd been us. I'm about to give Mr. Doug one of these. Yeah. Yes, sir. We look for something, you can't find it. Five minutes later, we should be going to pull it out. You've seen him when you crossed up there, so he went to the hospital today in the ambulance. I know this morning he fell in the middle of the road, and they had to help him over. Ambulance did come that time. I happened to be here and seen it all. They checked him on the corner right there, and they left. But then he ended up coming by, and he stopped by here and talked to me for a minute. He had a full fifth, so he drank that fifth, so that's what did it. They, um, he ended up having to go to the hospital. Well, Mr. Richard told me. Down to the marathon? Uh, I think just came back from Oh, okay. Before that's a dollar Out and so thank you, Mr. 
holiday. All right, so. Today, I really wanted some pizza. Mr. Trevor, one of the brother partners, came through. Big time. Him and uh, M, actually, the one that does the music. Um, I got out. I usually do my circling around thing. Or I get out. Do my looking around. Seeing what's out. And... Today was a good day. Sorry about that. Um, it's not going to work. Today was a good day. With Mr. Trevor and everybody else. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, I'm going to get a video real quick. And, uh, oh, here he is coming back up. Now, his name is Wyatt. What? Yep, Wyatt Herb. Wyatt, yeah, because you said Wyatt Herb. For, for a minute, I thought you was being, uh, you know, being funny from Wyatt Herb. Wyatt Shakespeare. Because he's tall. But uh, this video, I'm making this video because I ended up... Uh, Crazy. Huh? It's nuts. <laughs> I ended up running into a Mr. Wyatt. Uh, he's uh, the FSU, a quarterback for FSU, used to be. And it just so happened, I think it was around the time that uh, Ward Dunn played for him. And that's when I was down here, and I liked him around the time. I think it was around the time. So, uh... Um, and I just so happened to run into him today. Hey, LaShawn. Walter, Hey, LaShawn. 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 Hey,
because I know how this can help people mentally or or if they're in pain or whatever. So, uh, but he would get close to me and he he was kind of big <laughs> and I could see in his eyes that he wasn't really all the way, you know, and I'm not under, you know, and I have to watch myself because I'm out here moving around this way. I've been, so I, you just have to be careful. And I couldn't tell if he was a positive person or a negative person, <laughs> but he turned out being real cool with me. He took to me and went good. And, uh, so sorry about that. I um I let the screen go off so it had cut off. But yes, and just like how when he got out of that place, he seen me, he took to me. Uh we hung out for a minute. He met with uh another gentleman partner of mine, uh Mr. Ski. And that was good that night cuz he's into the sports. So he, Mr. Wyatt was sharing his stats with him and everything, and, you know, so that was a good night. And then that was also the night that I seen how he was, how he was talking. He was talking different and everything, and he was like, yeah, I don't have any problems no more. And like I said, I, which I explained it, and I felt that way, and then months later, they still were saying that he was good. He's thinking straight and everything, so hopefully he's still doing good, and that was that. You see, they got this thing. People believe Osceola was was a chief of the Seminole Indians. You look it up, he was a warrior. He wasn't no chief. He was never a chief. He was a, he was a Seminole warrior. Mm -hmm. So, dang man, dang man. What if a person really focused and really really tried to zone in on trying to get the brain back on track from after you know from after? Can it be done? Like if it like real real focus? Snap. What about like with the right carry? Because you know certain right care is yeah, kind of yeah. like therapy and it might be able to... Ray Ray do it. Shoot, he's still off the streets. Oh, he came over there. He yeah, Ray Ray. Ray. I never met him. I'm like, are you the one that got stabbed? He's like, yo. Hey, Where, the Bistro? Yeah, he came to the Bistro. Uh, Ray Ray. Huh. Yeah. First time I ever met him. I'm like... Hey man, you the one he got. Uh, you involved with him. He's like, yep. Be careful, man. Hey, stay close to her. She about to pull up. Good, man. That's why I talk to her, ghost. Yeah, we told him last week. Yeah, he's coming and he walked out. All right, all right. Okay, I'm going to cut this so short. Dang, man. And I found this shirt. So, so, I just made that other video this morning. Um, And I get back over here. And I'm recording this because it's a, a heck of a coincidence. And you guys see when I have met Mr. Wyatt. And I get back over here and Mr. Polly P just happened to have his jersey on because that was his number. And I got the photo of uh, when he was standing uh, with Mr. Bobby Bowen. And that's the uh, uh, number. Yeah, they said that was his number, 19. Hey, that's a heck of a coincidence. <laughs> see, I got this shirt from the donation box. Somebody. All right, so it's the next morning now. Uh, Mr. Trevor, you know I usually don't do videos. Shit, in your four months, five months of knowing me, you don't. You know I don't pull my phone out. We don't do videos. I've only been getting videos because I'm wrapping it up here in Tallahassee. So I have been getting videos of, uh, you know, like um, Mr. Richard, um, Mr. Polly P. Uh, some things about Mr. Ray Ray. Well, you know, of course I did do some recordings while working with Mr. Ray. Um, of course, I got recordings of with Mr. Polly P. There's a lot of times Mr. Polly P. came through where I had to get it on video. Um, so, yes, I'll just let it be known uh, to why, because I think last night I had did another video. But, and now, right now, this was, right now, this was more about the dates and how it's a blessing, you know what I mean, to where, like, what was going on. Because I haven't been going over to the apartment. I haven't been going over to the apartment or whatever. And for this to just pop up again out of the blue, you know, it's always a blessing when you pop up. You know, and then just working with you. And then also this would be a video to the good for when you meet the family or if you meet the family, however. And you've, you've invested um, uh, multiple months or, 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 you know, so. So, yes, yes. Um, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, getting stuff done. Getting on the move. Just wanted to show the date today. Like I say, yes, it was a, 
Oh, shoot, that's another thing. Well, uh, my birthday is tomorrow, too, but no big deal. No, no big deal. Yes, yes, that's, that's something else, too. Um, so, it, yes, because today is the 2nd of June. So, um, yes, you guys, and I'm turning, yeah, turning 37. That's, uh, yes, yes. And my goal is by 40. I'm trying to be, in this, you know, uh, well-rounded, uh, uh, trying to be as, as much situated as possible. By the time I'm 40. But yes. In this next video coming up, I tried to pull my phone out quick enough to try and get Mr. Polly P on video. Uh, like it says, so the next day must have been my birthday and uh, Mr. Polly P popped up or whatever. And uh, <laughs> like he said, he's going to say it. And he was like, yeah, just a little humor or whatever. Like how, and we were all in a group. And everybody did the birthday thing, the, um, had the birthday thing, but I couldn't get it on video in time. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Body Pete. You're welcome. Yes, bro. sir. Yes, sir. A little humor. <laughs> I tell you, he looks just like a Cuban. He doesn't look hey, like Callie. a Cuban. He looks like a Cali. Cali. Hey. Hey, what in the world is going on, you guys? Uh, oh, with a friend with Pesto. Uh, I'm not no Italian. Tu eres no uh, Pesto. No, no, no. No le gusta the pesto. My brother is not in my house. Ah, gracias a Dios para el otro día. Gracias a Dios para el otro día. So if you're out of town, you can find like the comfortable places. Well, this one here came across because, uh, of course, I moved around with certain people. So this lady happened to be one of the people and the uh, lady that gives out on Sundays. So she does on Sundays. Um, so, you know, when you're out of town and you move around, there's nothing wrong with getting out and doing these things. So. This is another video. Actually, I can't remember if I did that other. No, that was up when we got them plates from the lady up by the library. So this is another place over here. Sorry about that, you guys. This is another place over here, Grace Mission in Tallahassee, Florida. Um, you can get their list. I'll put a picture up also showing what they do throughout the um the week. So like I say, cool. sorry, sorry. See how that just, all I did was move, but, okay, well, anyway, that uh, video was the last video. Let's see how quick we can get back to it. I will do these better. It's just uh, organizing all these photos and videos and redoing it somehow. Like now, this took a lot of time. So if that just went and didn't start over, it should not have just started over on me. But this is Thursday, they say. This is my first time coming here for this stuff. Oh, no. Okay, yes, yes. 